Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. President William Samoy Ruto, terrified of demonstrations, which are the heart of any democracy. I want to say that um, William Ruto, according to my research, is that he was very active in Kenyan politics. As a Moi henchman, when Kenyans got fed up with Moi's dictatorship and took to the streets, most notably on July date 7th, 1919, to protest and demand democracy and freedom from Moi's Tagari as the president of the Republic of Kenya. In fact, after the Saba Saba rallies, William Ruto formed first terrorist organization in our country, known as YK-92. Of course, the intention was to protect the Moi dictatorship from any demands for multi-party democracy in Kenya. As far as they were concerned, ladies and gentlemen, Kenyans adored their dictatorship and were not going to allow multi-party in the country. That YK-92 group killed opposition activists, grabbed billions of shillings, from our central bank of Kenya and were very sure, of course, that they were or they will stop multi-party democracy in the Republic of Kenya. And again, ladies and gentlemen, they failed to achieve that goal. And they will face the same defeat now when they are telling Kenyans that we have a king in office and everybody should shut up or open their mouths only to sing for the king. <laughs> they were delusional in 1992 as they are now the way you can see. Kenyans won that battle with their blood and sweat. Literally, this is the truth. <laughs> To quote a Kenyan journalism then, Kenyans were suffocating under the armpits of Moi's single party regime. He held the bureaucracy and the security apparatus in firm grip. Parliament sang his song and the judiciary was cowed into sniveling subservience. <laughs> of course, Moi killed more than a hundred Kenyans on the Saba Saba day rally. And in his sinister mind and plans, that meant it was the end of any such activity. Ladies and gentlemen, lately did he know that it was just the beginning. And two years later, they succumbed to the reality that Kenyans wanted multi-party democracy and were ready, of course, to fight and even die for it. That is the intention of the people. Today, the little dictator William Samoy Ruto said the same things Moi used to threaten Kenyans with. He assured the country that the government will secure their lives and property should the opposition go into demonstration. And even I have watched a certain video, William Samuruto, ordering the cabinet secretary of interior that ensure that you provide security to the demonstration. One, the lives of Kenyans. Two, the businesses and the property of Kenyans. And this is whatever he said. You will not blackmail this nation 
you will not threaten Kenyans. We are determined to move forward. That is whatever I said. First of all, let us tell Ruto that he himself will not blackmail Kenyans. I want to repeat. First of all, let us tell William Samuruto that he himself will not blackmail Kenyans. But the key piece on what Ruto said was that his government will secure lives and property. That is a code word for doing what Moy did, which is to kill people like on Saba Sabadi and claim that he did that to protect lives and property. Watch and see. Date 7 of December. That is on Wednesday. How was Moy protecting their, their lives of Kenyans? While killing more than 100 demonstrators, there's a simple question, ladies and gentlemen. I want to repeat. How was Moy protecting the lives of Kenyans while killing more than 100 demonstrators? If Ruto wants to follow Moy's footsteps and send killers to the demonstration, he will be very sorry. I want to say again, if William Samuruto, who is the president of the Republic of Kenya, wants to follow Moi's footsteps and send killers to the demonstrations, he will be very sorry. Even Moi couldn't get away with that. And he was 10 times more powerful than this so-called President William Ruto will ever be. I want to say, that William Samuruto must leave alone demonstrations. They too are Kenyans. And they have earned that democratic peace, space to all rise. Of course, against the best efforts of Moi and his boy, Mr. Ruto. You can't take that back, my friend William Samuruto. I want to say, President William Ruto must stay on his life. The other thing Ruto and his mob are talking about is that Raila and other leaders want handshake. Raila and his co-leaders know one thing. When you shake hands with the devil, the first thing you do is count your fingers assuming there is any left. Nobody, I want to say, nobody in their mind or rights minds will want any handshake who, not, who now think that they can use the hustler fund to buy Kenyans. I want to repeat that. Nobody in the Republic of Kenya, including leaders, in their minds and their rights and their minds would want any handshake with this fumbling and bumbling government who now think that they can use the hustler fund to buy Kenyans. They will find it out on December 7th, 2022. Don't take Raila Murudinga for granted. The one very smart move by opposition leader is to stage a counter rally on December 12th, 2022. After that 7th, there's a December 12th, 2022 rally. That is going to be a key rally for Kenyans to let Ruto know that he will not bully anybody to bend their knees in front of him as the new king. Handling opposition rallies and activities is the toughest thing for any government, whether you are government with all powers. Of course, look at what happened or what is happening in China and Iran right now. If any leader dares the citizens claiming supremacy in government or governance, they get sorry very fast. The supremacy of leadership is any country belongs to the people, not the leaders, Mr. William Ruto. On the issue of IEBC, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say this, commissioners, Ruto and his friends 
must shoot themselves in the foot. Why start worrying about 2027? Elections in 2022. Mr. Deputy, Mr. President William Ruto. That is insane. Kenyans are very right to demand that democratic institutions be respected. There's nothing Ruto gained other than his childish show of power in fighting IBC members who did not coronate him. But that behind you and look ahead. Now, here is the nightmare, ladies and gentlemen. And that is why some of Ruto's mouthpiece are begging the four IBC commissioners to resign rather than go to the tribunal. And according to me, I see it a, a very interesting scenario. Let the three not resign. Mr. President and your mouthpiece people, let them not resign. When that hearing starts, in a few days, the IBC members under attack will have their lawyers and they will explain their sides of the story. Things will get very tough to, for Ruto when the lawyers for the commissioners ask for evidence from IBC that everything was done as per the constitution, the counting and verification of the votes, and that the four commissioners were maliciously or malicious in rejecting verified votes when they were part of the verification. We could, up, or we could end up with another vote count at the tribunal. The worst part is that all material produced as evidence in this tribunal becomes public and Kenyans may finally get to see what was really going on at Bomas as votes were being counted. The last thing Ruto needs to know, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, finally, is that this demonstration will not just be about the Ruto takeover of the IBC to take Kenyans back to the 1990s. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenyans want to look at what William Ruto government has done in the first 100 days. And counting and see if they have really fulfilled 1% of what they promised. Kenyans, while they were promising everything from reduced food and fuel price, where the opposite has happened to upholding the rule of law in their so-called fighting state capture. The only visible thing Ruto has been doing is having all terrible criminal charges against his friend dropped, including those who are murdered, cased. Yes. And anybody who has been charged with theft or any other criminal activity has a wonderful resume to get, of course, a job with Ruto, including those like Waititu, right now facing a five. 188 million Kenyan shillings theft charge. Soon, they will send job application to committee maximum to get the best candidate to run the government. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? That is my point today. Give your opinion at the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video. Please, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share across the republic bye bye till you meet on another video